Hello, Abraxas here, and I'm going to be playing some Universe Sandbox 2. So, I have a pretty simple suggestion from Glarder, and he says, just collide two pulsars. You know, in all honesty, I don't think I've ever done this before. As simple of a suggestion as that is. So, let's go ahead and give it a shot. I guess we'll just use the Crab Pulsar for this. Start with a name, I do believe, in this game. And look at how fast it is spinning, spinning incredibly fast. Let's go ahead and slow down time. Okay, so there we go, we got the Crab Pulsar placed. And I guess we'll just launch another Crab Pulsar at it and see what happens. Okay, well. That happened very quickly, or very quickly, but I guess they were very close together. Since they are such small objects, but I think that already answered the question. I guess they go supernova, so there you go. Can they actually shred each other with like Roche Limit or anything? Can pulsars be shredded? Let's let's test that out. Not really tested pulsars all that much. We have one that's equivalent to two suns right here. We'll place it as a still object. And we have one equivalent to 1.4. So I guess we'll just place that as an orbiting object, not a still object. There we go. Where to go? Oh, okay. They just took off like crazy and went supernova. <laughs> Beautiful blue supernova, but uh, that is not what I was expecting. Let's do that once more. Let's slow down time so we can actually kind of observe what happens here. Okay, so let's go ahead and place the one that is equivalent to two masses of the sun and the one that is, what is the smallest pulsar that we have? Just 1.4 masses, so we'll just place this as an orbiting object. Whoa. That happens very quickly. Keeping in mind that this is 85 milliseconds per second. And there goes the supernova. Wow. Supernova is still tiny, though. Right, but tiny. Okay, well, let's go ahead and another simulation. I, I'm really going to have to slow down time for this to actually be able to at least observe what happens. So, let's just slow down time to some crazy low value. And let's go ahead and place our pulsars. So, one that is two masses of the, of the sun. And the crab pulsar. Orbiting around it, hopefully not too quickly. Oh, uh, I think I see what, what's happening, though. I think I'm going to lock the position of this pulsar. There we go. And now let's place the crab pulsar around it. Hopefully not to orbit way too quickly. Okay. Okay, is that because I locked the position? I think in like these pulsars just do not want to actually orbit around each other in any fashion. That's like literally teleporting it away. Let's put crab pulsar out here. Okay, now it's orbiting properly. Interesting. You have two pulsars like orbit around each other. You just can't have it happen very quickly, or else just horrible things happen. Like if I try it from this distance, oh, that's something. Interesting. Let's uh, reduce the mass of this down to 0 0.25 suns, and let's resume the game and see what happens. So it's not being shredded in the Roche limit. It's equivalent to 262 Jupiter, so we have a red dwarf of similar size, just a just as proof of concept. So let's go ahead and get rid of the crab pulsar. Let's try to find a red dwarf that's very similar in size. I think Proxima Centauri will work just fine. Oh wow, that is bright. Oh wow, that is so much bigger than the pulsar. But let's place it orbiting around it and see if it gets shredded by the pulsar's Roche limit. It certainly does, so that kind of just proves that pulsars cannot be destroyed in the Roche limit. 
and it's requiring its mass and reinstating a nuclear fusion and becoming a star again. It's like in between a brown dwarf and a star right now because it keeps losing mass and regaining it with the mass that keeps colliding into it. But as you could imagine, it'd be forming a beautiful accretion disk around this pulsar and that'd look very cool, but uh, the game doesn't fully support that yet. But there you go, I hope that answers your question. It looks like pulsar versus pulsar equals supernova. And pulsars cannot destroy other pulsars in the Roche limit. They seem to be kind of an indestructible object until they like collide into a black hole or go supernova or something. Until something actually reacts with it. It doesn't appear you could actually steal mass away from a pulsar in this game. So if you guys liked the video, please leave it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. It really does help. And I'll see you guys in the next one.